Mark, what about the Green Brigade issue? It came up a few times then, didn't it? There was questions. Uh, Michael Nicholson, the chief exec, said, well, the rift between the Ultra Group and the club has escalated across the last month or so. The problems were simmering before that, he said. He explained there had been challenges at both Celtic Park and away grounds concerning the Green Brigade, Easter Road and Fir Park being cited. Michael Nicholson went on to insist the risks posed by some of Celtic's away fans are being brought up by opposition clubs at the pre-match meetings. The Celtic chairman, Peter Lobo, then stepped in and said conversations are ongoing with the Green Brigade and the rest of the supporters, while confirming that a fan advisory board is something the board are looking into despite its challenges. Uh, Michael Nicholson followed it up by saying a fan survey may be issued in the new year. And I believe there, were, there was applause for the Green Brigade and there was also some boos as well from the yeah. crowd. So there's mixed the feelings, of, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. look, the, the, the positive uh, thing is, is that there's dialogue um, going on and, and we're not privy to that dialogue. It'll be in private and should remain in private until uh, they have resolved matters one way or another. How they resolve it, Paul, I don't know because both seem, to, you know, the, the Celtic board uh, are defending the club and you know, they've got to defend the football club and do what they think is right for the football club ahead of what's right for a group that's got about 300 members, I believe, around about that, albeit a fantastically vocal and when they sing the right songs, they bring a great support uh, to Celtic Park, home and away. However, if there have been a number of issues, um, safety issues, whether it be in, in opposition grounds, whether it be with the EFA, whether it be with the police, then Celtic need to take that um, on board. So we'll wait and see. Hopefully it can be resolved. Because um, like I say, when they're on form, they, they back the team wonderfully well and, and bring the rest of the stadium alive. Um, as well but as long as they stick to the the songs that the football club are telling them and the behaviour that's acceptable yeah I, I, I agree with Mark but you know you, you can't just it looks like as if in a way that they're singling Celtic and the Green Brigade out yes they've got their faults yes they've cost Celtic a lot of money in, in over the years in fines but also you have to look at other clubs and I'm, I, I hope they are because all the clubs will have good eggs and bad eggs in terms of what they sing in what they act I played in Scotland for five years Mark I've I've seen it at away grounds you know some of the fans and what they say and what they're chanting and the songs so I just hope that Celtic are not the only club being penalised not the only club but being looked at and it's looked at across the board because as I said other clubs fans are no angels either so they need to look at that that's a great point. And I know that at Easter Road recently when Celtic were there, the fans were not treated well. I mentioned it a couple of weeks ago. People close to me told me treated really badly the Celtic supporters who were well behaved and they were kept, they were penned in for a while beforehand in a narrow area. It's dangerous. Yeah, and that's so, where Celtic have got to defend their supporters absolutely. as well, um, Paul. You know, it sure. can't all be yeah. about look, looking out for, yeah. for, for people that are, that are overstepping the mat or not behaving in the appropriate way when they're representing a football club um, away from home but if there, there, there's there's issues as well in terms of your your normal fan that is, is not connected to the to the Green Brigade any supporter going along to the football then it should be an enjoyable experience it should make them want to go back and it should also be, be, be value um, for money as well because we want to see football's an entertainment it should be yeah. you just wonder sometimes with the, the big Glasgow clubs and you know some people provincial clubs go oh it's terrible some of the stuff they sing yes it is but there's nothing like look at the money they pour into the game and I do hope they are well treated at the opposition grounds you know and also by the police as well it's so important the safety